a few years ago, <clears throat> I was uh, flying through Dallas. I was working for my mentor, Martin Sage, and uh, one of his trainers was doing a, a preview evening. And she had this capacity to get a lot of people to the evening. And I was traveling through, and they said, would you stop in and do the evening with her? And I said, yeah, sure. And I stopped in, and we were introducing the people in the room, and this gal said that she was a chiropractor and a network chiropractor. And so I told the room about my experience in network chiropractic. Uh, the first network chiropractic adjustment I got, it was not um, that impressive to me. The second time I went, I took my wife and our three-day-old baby, and my wife said, there's really something to this after she got her adjustment or entrainment or whatever they call it. I said, okay, because I could see that she was different. She really felt something. It's real light touch. But this doctor, Russell Rosen, we were in Maui, Hawaii, came over, and our three-day-old was struggling, uh, trying to have a bowel movement, and he touched her with one of those network contacts real lightly in the coccygeal area on the outside of her diaper, and she had this massive bowel movement and went to heaven. And I was quite impressed. I thought, <laughs> okay, I've got to look at this stuff. But I was telling that story in this preview in Dallas, and there was a, because this lady had said she was a network chiropractor, and I was telling, I said, this is what it's done for me. And she and her husband came up afterwards, and I said, are you going to come to the seminar that was going on? I don't know where it was going on. And her husband said, I don't think we have any choice. He said, your endorsement just, he said, people are asking for my wife's card. He said, I know that the class will be paid for out of your endorsement. I said, well, cool. And they came into classes with me, with my mentor, and I was working in Houston. I called them up. They were up in Dallas, and I said, are you going to come down for the class? And she said, no, no. You claim that your uh, seminars are business-oriented, which we do, because most time businesses do increase. And she said, my business has not increased. In fact, it's fallen off. Now, I was with a consulting firm a few years before that when I was in my own practice, and I did it for a year, and they said, are you going to do it again? And I said, no. You showed me how to keep the statistics, which they did. And I said, my statistics haven't changed, so I'm not going to re-up with you. And then it got a little personal, so I really didn't re-up with them. But I did the class. I started the class in Houston, and then I looked around, and I realized this chiropractor and her husband were there. And I kind of looked, and I said, uh, hang on a second. I, I thought I had a conversation with you. And I thought the conversation was that you weren't coming to this class because you did not increase your business. And she said, no. She said, you're right. That was the conversation. She said, I haven't done my stats for a few months. She said, after the conversation, I, I ran my stats. And she said, my business has almost doubled this year. She said, the difference is I've been having so much fun in practice. I just thought... I wasn't working as hard and I wasn't seeing as many patients. She said, every aspect of my business has doubled. And she said, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with this, so we're back again. www.micpeakperformance.com